This is Dave with the Space Shuttle Program Commemorative Coin Project. We just wanted to make a little video that kind of described what the coin is going to look like, what it's made of, kind of why it's a special commemorative. As you probably know, our first commemorative coin ever was the Ares 1X rocket coin. And that was kind of our inspiration for this next coin, which celebrates the Space Shuttle Program. And one of the things that we did that made the Ares 1X coin special is we actually had metal in it that was flown to the surface of the moon. And that kind of made the coin itself very special. I want to take you through the design of the coin itself, the artwork. This is a, just a magnificent piece. This is the most beautiful collectible we've ever made. And I just wanted to take you through a couple of the details of this that uh, kind of help you understand why it, this is so special. One of the first things is, is that we're celebrating the entire program, not any particular mission. We selected the uh, shuttle in the landing position because we felt that although there was a lot of unique things about the space shuttle, the external tank, the solid rocket boosters, the way it operated in space and the way it came back, we felt that the most unique thing about the space shuttle was the fact that it was a winged vehicle. It was so different from the way capsules came back to Earth. And so we thought that we would use that to depict the entire program. You'll also notice that this is at sunset, and so the idea is, is that this is the sun setting of the program. Also, it's interesting because it's a nose-on view, so it kind of also gives you the feeling like you don't know what's ahead of the space shuttle right now. A couple other things I want to draw your attention to here. Uh, one of them is that there are six stars in the sky, and that is for the six orbiters. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute, there was uh, Columbia and Challenger, there was Discovery, Atlantis, Endeavor. Where's the sixth shuttle come from? And that's the shuttle Enterprise. That was the uh, first space shuttle. Uh, although it never went to orbit, it was used for the approach and landing test and for some fit checks as well. So there are two stars in the sky that are especially bright, and those are for Columbia and Challenger, uh, the two space shuttles that we lost. And you'll notice that those particular stars have seven points to them, and the points uh, represent uh, the people, the astronauts in each mission uh, that were lost. Now we're going to turn to the back of the coin, which is actually a certificate of authenticity. And we took this idea from uh, when we did the Ares 1X rocket coin. Uh, we had on the back of it that it had metal flown to the surface of the moon. Uh, this particular coin is going to have flown metal, but it's going to be from the orbiter Columbia. Uh, and it was uh, part of the orbiter for the first five flights uh, from STS-1 to STS-5. It was flown in space five times. And it was actually part of the orbiter at the very beginning of the space shuttle program so we thought that was extra special and uh, we paid a premium for that one but I think it's important uh, to have uh, something special about the coin itself uh, not just that it commemorates a particular event or that the artwork is very beautiful and significant to the program but we wanted something about the coin itself to be particularly significant so uh, that's why we chose a medal not just from any mission but we really wanted the very first mission the one in 1981 where Young and Crippen uh, took off for the very first orbital flight it was really a test flight uh, and the maiden flight of the Space Shuttle Columbia and the entire shuttle program. So we're very excited about that. So a little bit about the actual flown fragment itself and, uh, and the significance of it. Um, this particular fragment was actually uh, part of the, uh, the heat shielding uh, near the engine. Uh, at first it was thought what we had was uh, an actual piece of the engine, but this was actually a part of the orbiter itself, not a part of the engine. So uh, we actually have documentation uh, from NASA. We have Rockwell uh, engineering change orders. We have uh, uh, as-built uh, lists that really create a chain of evidence all the way from 1981 to right here to the Space Shuttle commemorative coin. So that's the Space Shuttle uh, Program commemorative coin. Uh, I'm really excited about this one for a lot of reasons, uh, not the least of which is it's got the flown metal uh, in it like the Ares 1X coin had. Uh, also, uh, there's just something about this coin that is just beautiful to look at.